Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet this pretty skirt which can be made in any size. So for my skirt I used a 4mm crochet hook and DK weight yarn. So thank you very much for watching and please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet so videos. To begin your skirt you want to start off by making a slip knot. So to do a slip knot take your yarn and take your finger and wrap the yarn around your finger once and then twice. Then take the first loop and pull it over the second loop and then take the second loop and pull it all the way over your finger. You then want to take your crochet hook, so take your hook, go in through this space and pull tight. And there you have a slip so knot. So now once you have your slip knot, we are now going to make our foundation chain. And now you can make your foundation chain as long or as short as you like, but the length of your foundation chain will depend on how big you want the waist of your skirt to be. So if you have a look at my skirt here, which I have already done, you can see that the foundation chain goes around the very top of the skirt, so around the waist. So you want to make your foundation chain long enough to go around the waist of the person who your skirt is for. And your foundation chain must also be a multiple of five. So you can chain 50, 55, 60, 70, 75, 100, 120. It's completely up to you as long as it is a multiple of five. And the longer you make your foundation chain, the bigger your skirt will be. So make your chain a multiple of five. So I have just finished making my foundation chain and this is what I have and for the sake of this tutorial I am just going to make a tiny little mini skirt but you can make your skirt whatever size you like. So once you have your foundation chain we are ready to move on to round one. So we are one. now on to round one of our skirt and to begin this round you want to chain one. So chain one on top of your foundation chain. And now round one is a simple round of half double crochet. So we're just going to do one half double crochet into every single chain along our foundation chain. And we're going to work our first half double crochet into the second chain from the hook. So here is the first chain from the hook. And here is the second chain and into this chain we're going to do our first half double crochet. So to do a half double crochet, yarn over and go down into this chain, the second chain from the hook, yarn over and pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So there we have one half double crochet. And now yarn over and go into the next chain and do one into this one. Then yarn over, go into the next chain and do one half double crochet into that chain. Then do one half double crochet into the next. And continue this all the way along for round one. Do one half double crochet into every single chain. So I have just finished working that all the way along for round one. So I did my last half double crochet into this very last chain at the end. And now we are ready to move on to round two of our skirt. So to begin round two, you want to chain one and turn. And this chain one does not count as a stitch. So now round two is another round of half double crochet. So we're just going to do one half double crochet into every single stitch along. 
So we're going to start off by going down into this very first stitch here and doing your first half double crochet. So yarn over and go down into this first stitch as our chain one did not count as a stitch and do one half double crochet. Then do one half double crochet into the next one and one into the next and one into the next and just continue this all the way along for round two one half double crochet into every single stitch so I am just coming to the end of round two so I'm going to finish off by working my last half double crochet into this last stitch at the end and I just wanted to show you that at the end of this round, you need to make sure that you're working your last half double crochet into this last half double crochet here and not the chain one. So this is the first half double crochet from round one and then the chain one that we skipped when we worked into the second chain from the hook at the beginning of round one is here. So you need to make sure that you're not going into that little chain one that you're going into this first half double crochet. So yarn over, go into the stitch and work your final half double crochet. So there we have finished round two and this is what you should have. So this is going to go around the top of our skirt and now we are ready to move on to round so three. We are now on to round three and the next part of our skirt is very simple. You just want to repeat round two, so the round that we just did, again and again and again until you feel that the waistband of your skirt is big enough or long enough. So if you have a look at my skirt here, this section with the half double crochets, so the smaller stitches, is the waistband. So this is the part that will go around the waist. And all of these rounds are just repeats of round two, so the round that we just did. So I have my foundation chain, then round one and round two, and then all of these rounds up to the end of the waistband here are just repeats of round two. So you can make your waistband as thick as you want. So you may want to just do one or two repeats for a small thin waistband. But if you want a thicker waistband like I have here, so my waistband is this thick, then you may want to do five or six or maybe even seven or eight repeats. It's completely up to you. So just keep repeating round two until you feel the waistband of your skirt is thick enough. So I'm going to move on to my very first repeat. So round three, which is my first repeat of round two. So to begin each round, you want to chain one and turn. And this chain one does not count as a stitch. Then we're going to start off by going into this very first stitch here as the chain one does not count as a stitch. So yarn over and go down into this first stitch and do one half double crochet. Then do one half double crochet into the next stitch and one into the next and continue this all the way along. And then when you get to the very end of the round, do one half double crochet into this last stitch here. Make sure that you do not go into the little chain one, that you go into the last half double crochet. And then repeat that round again. Chain one and turn and do half double crochets all the way back up. And just keep repeating that until you feel that your waistband is thick enough. So I have just finished working those repeats of round two and as I am just doing a small little baby skirt for this video, I only did two repeats as I wanted a thin um, waistband, but you can do as many repeats as you like. 
And then once you have finished working those rounds, before we move on to the skirt or the bottom of our skirt, we need to join our work. So from this point onwards, our skirt is going to be joined. So we're going to join our work like this. And then we would just have a small opening at the top where we could put a button or two. And that will make it easier to get on and off but the rest of our skirt is going to be joined. So what you want to do is you want to take your work where you finished off and then take the opposite side of the waistband and we're going to go to the very first half double crochet here. So the first half double crochet of the last round that you worked so here is that first half double crochet. Make sure that you're not going into the chain one, but the half double crochet here. And you want to insert your hook into that half double crochet and make sure that your band is not twisted. And then we are going to work a slip stitch. So yarn over, pull your work together and then pull through both loops on your hook. And there you can see we have joined our work. So there you can see we have this little opening here which makes it easier to get on and off and the rest of our skirt is going to be joined. So now we're ready to move on to round one of the bottom section of our skirt. So we are now on to round one of the bottom part of our skirt. And to begin this round you want to chain one and turn and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So to begin this round, we're going to start off by working four double crochets. So we're going to do one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. So to do a double crochet, yarn over and go into this very first stitch here. So you want to go into this first stitch at the end here yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through the final two loops on your hook. So there we have one double crochet, then yarn over, go into the next stitch and do one double crochet into this one, yarn over, go into the next stitch and do one double crochet into this stitch as well and then yarn over, go into the fourth one along and do your fourth double crochet. So there we have four double crochets, one, two, three, four. And now into the next stitch, we're going to do two double crochets. So we're going to do two double crochets both into this next stitch here. So yarn over, go into the stitch and do one double crochet, then yarn over, go back down into the same stitch again and do a second one, like that. So there we have four double crochets, one into each stitch, then two double crochets, both into the next one. And we're going to repeat this all the way around for round one. We're going to do four double crochets, then two double crochets into the next stitch, then four double crochets, two double crochets into the next, four double crochets, one into each stitch, and two double crochets both into the next one, all the way around. So yarn over and go into the next stitch and do one double crochet, then do a second one into the next stitch, do a third one and then a fourth. So there we have four double crochets, one into each stitch. Then we're going to do two double crochets both into this next one. Like that. And then repeat this again. Do four double crochets. like that and then do two into the next so 
So continue to repeat that all the way around. So I'm just coming to the end of this round. So I have finished off by doing four double crochets. And then to finish off the round, we need to do two double crochets, both into this very last stitch at the end here. So finish off by doing two double crochets, both into this last stitch. And then to finish off the round, we're going to do a slip stitch into the first double crochet that we worked. So here is the first double crochet. Make sure that you're not going into the chain one, but that you're going into the double crochet. Insert your hook into this stitch and then yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. So work a slip stitch. So there we have round one of the bottom of our skirt complete and we are ready to move on to round so two. So to begin round two you want to chain one and turn and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So now to begin this round we're going to start off by doing five double crochets. So you want to do one double crochet into each of the first five stitches. So yarn over and go into this first stitch and do one double crochet. Then do one into the next one. Then a third one. Then a fourth double crochet. And finally a fifth. So there we have five double crochets, one into each stitch. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do two double crochets both into the next stitch. So yarn over, get into this stitch and do two double crochets both into this one. So there we have five double crochets, then two both into the next stitch. And we're going to repeat that all the way around for round two. We're going to do five double crochets, then two double crochets into the next, five double crochets, two double crochets, both into the next, and repeat that all the way around. So we're going to do one double crochet into the next stitch, one into the next, one into the third one, one double crochet into the fourth, and one into the fifth. So there we have five double crochets, one into each stitch. And then into the next stitch, we're going to do two double crochets. So go back down into this same stitch for a second time and do a second double crochet. And repeat this all the way around. Five double crochets, two double crochets, five, two, five, two all the way around. So I have just finished working that all the way around for round two. So I have done two double crochets both into this very last stitch at the end. And then to finish off this round, we're going to do a slip stitch into the very first double crochet. So here's the first double crochet. Insert your hook into the stitch and yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. So there we have round two completed and we're ready to move on to round three of the bottom of the so skirt. So to begin round three you want to chain one and turn and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So now to begin this round we're going to do six double crochets or one double crochet into each of the next six stitches. So yarn over and go down into the first stitch and do one double crochet, then do one into the second one, one double crochet into the third one, one into the fourth, one into the fifth, and then one double crochet into the sixth. 
So there we have six double crochets, one into each stitch. And now into the next stitch, we're going to do two double crochets. So yarn over, get into this next one and do one. Then yarn over, go back down into the same stitch again and do a second double crochet. So there we have six double crochets, then two both into the next stitch. And we're going to repeat this all the way around. So do six double crochets, one into each stitch. So like that. And then we're going to do two double crochets both into the next one. So go into this next stitch and do two double crochets. And continue to repeat this all the way around for round three. So I have just finished working that all the way around for round three. So you need to make sure that you go down and work two last double crochets into that very last stitch there. And then to finish off this round, we're going to do a slip stitch into the very first double crochet. So here's the first double crochet, go into this stitch and work a slip stitch. And there we have finished that round and we're ready to move on to round so four. So we are now on to round four and to begin this round you want to chain one and turn and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So now round four is just a simple round of double crochet. So we're just going to do one double crochet into every single stitch around. So yarn over and go down into the very first stitch and do one double crochet then do one into the next and one into the next and repeat this all the way around one double crochet into every single stitch so I am just coming to the end of round four so I'm going to yarn over, go into this very last stitch here and do my last double crochet. So you need to make sure that you're going into the very last stitch of the round. And then to finish off this round, I'm going to do a slip stitch into the first double crochet. So there we have finished that round and we are ready to move on to the next one. So we are one. now on to round five and the rest of the bottom of our skirt is very simple. You just want to repeat round four, so the round that we just did, again and again and again until you feel that your skirt is long enough. So round four was just a simple round of double crochet. So one double crochet into every single stitch and you want to keep doing that round until you feel that your skirt is long enough. So if you have a look at my skirt here, which I have already done, we have our band, then we have rounds one, two, three and four. And then all of these rounds here are just repeats of round four. And then at the very bottom of our skirt, we have the lace edging. So we have the lace edging or the lace border which goes around the very bottom. So just keep repeating round four as many times as you like until you feel that your skirt is long enough. And then we will go ahead and work the edging. So you can work as many rounds as you like. You could do 10 repeats, 11, 12, 13, 14 and so on, depending on how long you want your skirt to be. And the bigger size you are doing, the more repeats you may want to do. So to begin each round, you want to chain one and turn. So begin every single round with a chain one and turn. And this chain one does not count as a stitch. Then yarn over and go down into this first stitch here and do one double crochet. Then do one double crochet into the next stitch. 
stitch and one into the next and do this all the way around one double crochet into every single stitch and then when you get to the end of the round work your last double crochet into this last stitch here and then do a slip stitch into the first double crochet of the round and then repeat that again chain one and turn and do double crochets all the way around and finish off with a slip stitch and keep repeating that round again and again until you feel that your skirt is long enough and then we can move on to our lace edging. So I have just finished working those repeats and I have my skirt to the length that I want it and as I am just doing a little mini skirt I only did a few repeats of that round but you will most probably have um, a longer skirt than I have. I'm just doing a small little skirt for the sake of this tutorial. And then once you have the length that you want work your last slip stitch and now we are ready to move on to round one of our lace edging. Let's begin round one of the lace edging of your skirt. Chain one and turn. And this chain one does not count as a stitch. So now to start off, we're going to go down into this very first stitch here and work a single crochet. So to do a single crochet, Go down into the first stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. So there we have one single crochet and now you want to chain five. So chain one, two, three, four and five and then skip three stitches. So skip one, two and three stitches and we're going to repeat this all the way around for this round we're going to do single crochet chain five skip three stitches single crochet chain five skip three stitches all the way around so we have done single crochet chain five skip one two three so then into the next stitch here, do a single crochet, then chain one, two, three, four, five, and skip one, two, three stitches. Then do a single crochet into the next stitch, chain five, and skip three stitches and continue to repeat this all the way around. So I am just coming to the end of that round. So I have done single crochet then I'm going to chain five like that and then skip the last three stitches one two three and then to finish off this round we're going to do a slip stitch into the very first single crochet so here's the first single crochet and insert your hook into that stitch and yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook so there we have round one of our lace edging complete. So this is what it looks like and we're ready to move on with round so two. So round two, we're going to start off by working a slip stitch into this first chain space. So we have finished off by doing a slip stitch into this first single crochet. So that is how we ended last round. And now to begin this next round, Insert your hook into the very first chain space and yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. So work a slip stitch. And now we're going to chain one 
and then we're going to go back down into this chain space and work one single crochet. So go down into the chain space and work a single crochet like that. And now chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Then skip on to this next chain space here. So go into the next chain space and work one single crochet and then chain five again. Like that. And we're going to repeat this all the way around for round two of our edging. We're going to do a single crochet into the next space, chain five, single crochet into the next space, chain five, all the way around. So go straight into the next space, do one single crochet, chain five, and just repeat this all the way around. So I have finished doing that all the way around. So I have done my last single crochet, chain five, and I have reached where I started. So now to finish off this round, we're going to go into the very first single crochet and work a slip stitch like that. And now we are ready to move on to round three, which is the final round of our skirt. So now on to round three. And to begin this round, you want to start off by going straight down into this first chain space here. So go straight down into the first chain space and work a slip stitch. So just like what we did last round, start off this round with a slip stitch. And now you want to chain one. So chain one. So now what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over and go down into this chain space and do one double crochet. Then chain one. Then go back down into the same space and do a second double crochet. Then chain one. Then do a third double crochet back down into the same space. Chain one. Then do a fourth double crochet. Chain one. And finally do a fifth double crochet into this space and that gives us our very first shell of our lace edging. And now you want to chain one and we're going to go into this next chain space here and we're going to do one single crochet. So go into the chain space and do one single crochet and then chain one again. So chain one and we're going to repeat this all the way around for this round. Into the next space here we're going to do another shell. So we're going to do double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, all into this next space. Then we're going to chain one and do a single crochet into the next chain space and then chain one again. And then we're going to repeat that again. We're going to do a shell into the next space. So just like we did here, do a shell into the next space, then chain one, single crochet into the next space and then chain one again and continue to repeat that all the way around. So we're going to begin our next repetition. So into this next chain space here, we're going to do a shell. So yarn over, go down into the space and do a double crochet, then chain one, then do another double crochet, chain one, do a third double crochet, 
chain one, do a fourth double crochet, chain one, and then do a fifth double crochet. So for a shell, we should have five double crochets with a chain one in between each one. And then you want to chain one and into this next space, do one single crochet, then chain one again. So there we have our next repetition and we're going to repeat that again into this next space, yarn over, go into the space and do double crochet, chain one and keep doing that until you have five double crochets. So like that, so I have finished off with a double crochet and now I have one, two, three, four, five double crochets with a chain one in between each one. And then chain one and into this next space here, do a single crochet and then chain one again. And continue to repeat this all the way around. And that is what gives us our really pretty lace so edging. once you have finished working that all the way around, this is what you should have. And you want to finish off by working your last chain one and then going into the first double crochet of the round and working a slip stitch. And then once you have done that, you can fasten off. So pull your yarn out and your hook and cut your yarn, leaving a tail to weave in later. And you then want to weave all of your ends into the inside of your skirt. So make sure that they're all weaved in nice and securely. And then you want to go ahead and sew a button or two to the back of your skirt. So at the opening, so you could put one or two or maybe even three or four buttons here, depending on what you want to do. And then you could either use the spaces in between the stitches as button loops or you could easily just make some button loops using the chains. So you would just insert your hook into this stitch, make a chain for as long as you want it and do a slip stitch into the next stitch to make a button loop. And then weave that end nice and securely into the inside of your skirt. And once you have done that, we have finished. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it easy to follow. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. And in the description box below this video, I will leave a link to my Twitter account. So if you would like to go and follow me on there, I always like to post updates and pictures of upcoming tutorials. And I would also really love to see photos of your crochet work on Twitter as well. And I will also leave a link in the description box to where you can find some of my written patterns if you are interested. So I have made some of my most popular tutorials available as written patterns and I will have a link to those patterns in the description box below this video. And thank you again for watching. Bye!